Hi everyone and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to continue modeling some of the details for the buildings. So let's begin. And we're going to be making a different kind of balcony. So let's make a plane. And this is going to be a little bit different than the other balcony. So let's come to the top view. And here we're going to hide the building O1 so it doesn't get in our way and we're going to just uh, modify this plane so we're just going to scale down this plane and now we can come to the perspective view and here we're going to just uh, take this plane to the third floor so we're just going to move it up and place it under these doors and let's just make sure that this is on the right place so something like that so now we're going to change the segments for this plane so let's select the plane and let's change this to 10 And let's change the height segments to 6 or maybe 5. Let's try with 5. Okay. And now we're going to make this an editable object. So let's go ahead and press letter C. And we're going to select these polygons and, and select the ones in the middle and we're going to do the same with these polygons here and also the ones in the middle so let's select those two and now we're going to just uh, delete them so press delete and this is what we have okay so now we're just going to come to the point mode and we're going to select all of those points there and we're going to just uh, move them to the left and now we're going to do the same with these points and just move them to the right and we will do the same with every of the points and we can hide the building so we can see this better And now we will just continue with the rest of the points. Okay, so now it's finished and I'm satisfied with the result. So now we can come and go to the polygon mode, select all of the polygons, and we're going to make an extrusion. So let's press letter D to bring the extrude tool and just make sure that the create caps option is checked on. And now we can turn on the visibility for the building O2. So here we can adjust the size of this extrusion. And maybe a little bit more. And now it's uh, finished. So we can see this object from different angles and see how it looks. And it looks uh, very good. And let's make a quick render here and let's get closer and just uh, push this object into the wall just a tiny bit just like that and let's make a render and we can see some problems with the shadows there but this is because of the lighting so when we do the correct lighting we will not have that problem anymore so now let's go ahead and continue making the rest of the balcony and let's make a new cylinder and let's move this cylinder and place it right next to the base of this balcony and let's change some of the values here uh, starting with the radius and also the height And now we can come to the front view and here we are going to 
be able to make uh, this balcony easier. And we still have to make this a little bit smaller. And we can come to the top view. And here we're going to start uh, placing these cylinders. So now we're going to come to the perspective view. And we're going to change the rotation segments for this cylinder. Let's try with 12. And that seems to work. So now we are going to create a cloner. And, you know, I've been talking about cloners and instances. And now is the time to use them. So let's just uh, copy the position of this cylinder and we're going to paste it uh, to have this cloner on the same position as this cylinder. So we're just copying and pasting the values for X, Y, and Z. And now we are ready. So we are going to just take this cylinder and make it a child of the cloner. And we can see that it has made some copies of this object. So now we can come to the attributes for this cloner. And here we can see all of the different options that we have. And we're going to go over some of these. But let's close first uh, this window. And here we can see the different options. As you can see now, it has a count of three and a value of 50 centimeters for the y axis. So we're going to change that because we need this on the x axis. And now we're going to come here to the top view to see how this works. So basically, the count is the number of objects that you will have at the end. So this one has a count of three. And we're going to have three different objects uh, counting the, the original one. So now any change that we make to the original object is going to reflect on the copies that this cloner is making. So now let's try changing the count. And we're going to use something around seven. And we can come here and change the spacing in between each of these cylinders. So let's do something around 12. Okay, so let's make it 12. And now let's scroll up and change the count to 10. So now we can come to the top view. And here we are going to just uh, modify the spacing a little bit. So 11.8 uh, seems to work very well. So we're going to leave it like that. So now we can come to the perspective view and see this balcony from some different uh, perspectives. And we are going to make a copy of this cylinder and just move it like that. And let's come to the top view to see this better. And let's hide the building O2 group. And here we are going to put it in the middle of this square and make another copy and put it in the middle of that other square. Okay. And we're going to take both of these new cylinders and duplicate them and just move them to the right and place them inside of these uh, squares so they are centered and uh, we have an extra one so we are going to delete it so we have now uh, only four and the other ten so now this uh, part of the balcony is done and I'm pretty happy with it. So let's um, take this plane or the base and we're going to just uh, place it so the cylinders are not uh, floating. 
and they are together with the base. And let's turn on the visibility for the building O2 and see how everything looks together. And I like the way it's looking, so I think it's a good moment to make a copy of this cloner and just uh, place it inside of our trash group. So if we want to change anything later on, we can do it. So we're going to make another copy of uh, our cloner and we're going to delete the content, which is the cylinder. And we're going to make also a torus. And let's come to the front view. And here we are going to place this torus uh, close to this cloner. And let's rotate it 90 degrees. And now we can move it. And of course, we're going to have to decrease the size of this torus because it was way too big. And let's just uh, place it here. And we're going to place um, some torus in between each of the bars just to have some details. And uh, this uh, balcony is not going to be uh, that boring anymore. So we're just going to make it small enough to fit in between of these bars. And we can come and change the ring segment, something like 18. Now let's get closer and let's center this torus. Okay, so now we're done. And now we're just going to move it up a little. And we're going to make another cloner. So let's select the torus, press Option or Alt and create a cloner. And as you remember, pressing this option or Alt key is going to create a new object using the same coordinates as the one that you are selecting. So now we're just going to change the values for the cloner that we just made. And we're going to use the same values that we had on the previous cloner. And we have to have a count of 10 and we're going to change this spacing for the X to 11.8, if I recall. That was the number that we were using. So it has to be 11.8. Okay. And now we're set. And let's check everything. And we can see that we have to change the count to 9 because we had an extra one and now it's okay. So now we're just going to take the cloner and we're just going to move it up. There, that's okay. And let's come to the perspective view and see how this is looking. And it looks very nice. Now let's come back to the front view. And here we are just going to make a few copies of this cloner and just spread them on the y axis. And we're going to have this balcony almost finished. And now let's come to the perspective view. So here we can make a render and see how this looks. And it looks really nice. And now to finish this balcony, we are going to make a copy of this plane, which is the base of the balcony. So just make a copy. And now let's come to the perspective view. And we're going to move this copy up and place it on top of all of the cylinders. And just make sure that these cylinders are not going through this plane. And now we can hide building O2. And let's come to the point mode. And we're going to delete all of the points that are in the middle. So let's select them and just uh, delete them. And also this one. 
and now we're going to go to the polygon mode and here we are going to use the closed polygon tool which is this one and we're just going to close all of the holes that are here so let's close everything this one too and this other one and now we're finished okay so now this balcony is looking better and we can see this from different angles and just to make sure that everything looks all right and to me it does so we're going to select this torus and we're going to make a new copy so now let's come to the top view and let's uh, hide this plane and now we're going to rotate this torus and let's place it right next to these cylinders and we can see that we have a problem here but we can solve this problem very easily so let's go ahead and do that and let's select both of these planes and let's now um, shrink them so using the scale tool we're going to modify their size so let's do that and now let's just reposition the whole thing and now we can come here and we can now take these cylinders and we are going to reposition those as well so those are good now and now let's uh, reposition the other ones okay and now let's make a copy of these torus and place it in between of these two cylinders so now we can select them both and just uh, duplicate them and move them to the right and just make sure that they are centered and here we are going to now select all of them and duplicate them as well and now let's come to the front view and here we are going to take the new copies and we are going to place them there and we're going to copy and paste those and we're going to move them down and place them there with the others so now we can come to the perspective view and we can see that now this balcony is almost finished and now we can select all of the components of this balcony and just make sure that all of them are editable objects and we're going to do that with the cloners as well so now that all of our objects are editable we can start renaming the different groups and i have talked about this before but it won't hurt if i tell that again and it is important to have everything named so when you want to modify something you can find it very easily and the same goes for having everything in groups so just having everything organized will save you tons of time so let's just continue renaming all of these groups and all of the objects that we don't have in groups just uh, place them inside a group and you will quickly notice that it is much easier to work in a clean and organized project so now let's continue and let's turn on the visibility for this building and now we can just adjust the position for this balcony and we're just trying to have it on the right place now that's good 
so now this balcony is pretty much finished and I like it so now we can go ahead and duplicate it and just rename it to balcony B and we're going to move it and place it on the other door and let's just make sure that this is centered and we're going to use these cylinders as reference and also this line and now it's centered so now we can zoom out and we are going to make a render and this is looking very very good so now we are finished with all of the modeling for this lesson and we are going to just clean everything and let's place this first floor inside of the building O2 group and the balconies inside of the third floor group and now let's just take a look at everything and just see how this is working out and now we can make a render and see how this scene is looking so far and it looks like we have done a very good job congratulations so this is all for today and i will see you on the next part thanks for watching